What is going on, everybody? It is Mike. Welcome back to Tech 24 7 TV. It is great to have you back here. It's like Apple Palooza Techtober. We are unboxing a new product today. This is the Apple iPad Air 4 in what I like to call the big mean green machine. This is in that nice color green. It's very soft. Uh, this is really posed to take the place of many people's iPad Air 1, Air 2, possibly even Air 3, or if you have a 10.5 inch iPad Air, or sorry, 10.5 inch iPad Pro from 2017, which is actually the use case that I have. I'm replacing my wife's 10.5 inch iPad Pro from 2017. And uh, we're gonna unbox this today, see what it's capable of, and get uh, into the details. Let's get right into it. So this is the 256 gig iPad Air 4, and this is the Wi-Fi only version. This retails for $749. Now let's see here. Uh, here, here's the arrow key and the arrow key. Here's the arrow, and let's just go ahead and follow that. That sweet, sweet sound of unboxing a new Apple product. All right. Love that vacuum sealing. And here it is, this is the iPad Air 4. And here's that lovely green color, this is really nice. Let's put this aside here for a moment and let's see what's in the box. All right, so we have the documentation, obviously. This is gonna be the 20 watt USB-C charger and this is gonna be, oh look at that, USB-C all the way through. All right, let's take a look at the documentation. So. We have the documentation booklet, how the gestures work. Here we have the safety and handling, and then we have those two white Apple stickers. Too bad they weren't uh, color matched. That would have been pretty great. All right, let's cover this up. We don't need that right now. Matter of fact, we are gonna put this to the side. So next, let's go ahead and un unwrap this again it's a beautiful green color and this, there's like no better sound just looking at the device here we got the volume rocker we have the place for the apple pencil again the volume rocker here is the that touch id button which feels different yeah, it does feel different. We've got the speakers. And there's really not too much. Oh, there's that USB-C port. All right, now we're going to go through the Touch ID process. Hmm. Some kind of weird error message telling me to, that it's failed. All right, so let's rotate. Continue. Hmm. There's a weird error. Prove Siri indication, share with developers, get started. Okay, so we are all set up. Now, surprisingly, there is an update out of the box for 14.1, or to 14.1. So that's gonna be downloading. It's gonna take a few minutes. Uh, but let's go ahead and do, uh, let's do the, you know, the uh, obligatory speed test. Um, sorry, Geekbench scores. CPU, run benchmark, and they're off. We see here, so this is a three gigahertz processor on the iPad Air 4 and nearly four gigs of RAM. Now let's go ahead and compare that against the iPad Pro 2020. Who's gonna win? No one knows, hungry, hungry hip hippos. And we see, you know, marginally, I would say that this is 1118, versus 1556 on the iPad Air 4, but that multi-core score is leaps and bounds better. We have 2618 versus 4690 on the iPad, or the iPad Pro 2020. So even though this is a, has a newer processor, right, there is a significant multi-core score 
in the difference between the two. And really what's going to drive the difference here is that this has got additional GPU uh, processing power where this one does not. And that's uh, effectively is what makes the iPad Pro more pro-like. So let's go ahead and compare the iPad Pro against the iPad Air. So iPad Pro here on the front, iPad uh, Air here on the back. And here you see obviously that there's the Touch ID button, which this one does not have. The iPad Pro has more microphones compared to the one here, all right? And so you, the speaker grill's the same. There's not necessarily something different here, but you do see that there's a microphone here. When you compare to the iPad Air, it does not have that microphone. And then on the bottom, all right, you see that there is the USB-C port here on both of them. So externally, this looks like the same thing, but the speed, uh, the throughput speed on the iPad Air is not as great as on the iPad Pro. Now, when we look at the cameras, so here I've said the backs, there's no difference in the, in the material finish, but here you have two cameras plus the LiDAR sensor and the True Tone flash. Here you have one camera, which is the same primary camera from the iPad Pro, but not, uh, it does not have the wide angle, nor does it have the same True Tone flash. Now, you might be asking yourself, Mike, why are, did you, or why did you choose to get your wife the iPad Air 4 versus the iPad Pro? 11 inch, you know, they're relatively, they share the same footprint. They have very similar features. Now, uh, from a just purely cost perspective at 749 for the iPad Air 4 versus 899 for the iPad Pro, you know, uh, $150 is $150. Uh, now my wife probably keep her iPad three, four, maybe five years. So it's going to be a long time. It's not necessarily, I can't justify her going to the iPad Pro with the more expensive cost for a few reasons. So one, she doesn't need the added RAM in the device. So there's six gigs of RAM in the new 2020 iPad Pro versus uh, just under four gigs in the iPad Air. That's the first part. Second part is that she doesn't necessarily need the 120 hertz refresh rate of the promotion that is found on the iPad Pro, which is absent on the iPad Air. So that's, you know, again. Uh, third, she doesn't necessarily have a, a need today for the video, uh, the video and the photography features that are found on the iPad Pro versus the iPad Air. So you got the LiDAR sensor, you got the 12 megapixel shooter on both the iPad Pro and the iPad Air, but you have the wide angle camera on the iPad Pro in addition to the LiDAR sensor. Uh, there's a better flash on the iPad Pro as well. So those features really combined, uh, or those reasons really combined are the reason why I didn't choose to get her the iPad Air. I think she's getting a good 80% of the functionality for, uh, for that cost. So she's almost the way there. Now, in the future, maybe her needs change. Um, I don't think that they're going to change dramatically over the course of the next, you know, several months, two to maybe two years, three years. And I'm comfortable, you know, not spending that money now and, and playing the risk that if she does need it, I can then, you know, sell this for some type of cost or for some type of upgrade and use that money towards the next device. Now, that's how I would play it. Uh, but now I plan on doing in-depth comparisons against the iPad Pro, uh, iPad Air 3, the, her 10.5 inch iPad Pro in addition to some accessory kits. So make sure you are subscribed with notifications so you can be alerted when that content drops. I am Mike, this is Tech 24 7 TV. Thanks very much for joining me today. Hit like, hit subscribe. Hey, you know, again, a lot of content coming out and I will talk to you in the next one. Stay safe out there.